Hello everyone, CC Bricks, and it's finally here. I finally finished my Lego Corella CMF series, and it's look it looks amazing. I'm very proud of it for my first CMF series. So this is the bag on the cover. I, I made 12 minifigs like a normal CMF series. So let's get into this. So first up is Estella. I just based it off the Estella from the movie, um, the red hair. I mostly based it off of this picture and I have a picture of a Lego hair here it's an actual hair that came with the Lego friends hair salon I don't even know what year it was, was it like 2016 I don't know but I have that hair piece in physical form and that's actually kind of almost what gave me the inspiration for the CMF series when I was watching Corella it's like huh that Lego hair would be good for a Lego figure it's like I should actually make a Lego figure um, so yeah and then her accessory is just a little platter this is the Corella fire dress, one of the most iconic moments from the movie. It's just this bright red dress. I used a Harry Potter wand piece as like the, her little fashionable cane accessory. And I used an afro. The hair piece came with birch books, but I just made it half black, half white, because that's Corella. Then I used the newer, it's not new, but newer skirt um, element for her dress. So yeah, this is actually the first one I designed, and it turned out real nice. So this next one here is uh, Cruella with her The Future outfit, where she like gets off the motorcycle. So I did that face paint, and it was kind of hard to do to get like the right font and letters, but it worked. And then her motorcycle helmet's hard to see in the picture, but I just made a Lego motorcycle helmet. And her jacket design was a bit hard to do, but... Then once I got the design figured out, I just was able to copy and paste the same thing. So this one is one of my favorites. So I just think it turned out really well, and it was one of the hardest to make. So this next one is the Baroness, um, when you first see her with one of her Dalmatians. So I just replicated her outfit. Then for the jacket, I thought of like the, um, what's his name, like Jim Gordon from um, the Lego Batman movie his kind of detective jacket that goes on him. I don't think Legos made it as a physical Lego piece, but I thought it would just work perfectly for the Baroness's, um, Baroness, that's not right, for the Baroness jacket. Um, so yeah, she turned it nice, and she has a custom hair piece that I designed. This next one is Maya, Maya, I don't know how you pronounce it, but she's just known as like the news lady that takes pictures I don't even know if that's her name but anyways I designed her based off of this picture gave her a little Lego camera I um, tried my best to replicate kind of the pattern on her shirt so it's not just a plain minifig shirt and um, I got her glasses and I think she just looks super accurate to the picture and uh, she was fun to make especially the afro is a bit of a challenge but it turned out real nice. I'm really happy with how it turned out. This next one is um, Jasper from the fire dress evening. And so you can see I just did his little jacket and shorts pretty plain. And then his accessories, the little dog dressed up as the rodent. I thought that was adorable. I used the Lego Chihuahua piece for the dog, but they just have special printing to make it look like they're in a costume. And then Jasper uses, um, what's his name from Harry Potter? Victor Crumb, Victor Crumb's hair, as his hair piece. And this next one is Horace. He also has the dog accessory along with a side bag, and then he has his um, green outfit covered in stuff, um, just like powdery stuff. And I was just able to crop out certain parts of the like powder and. Um, yeah, he was a bit hard to get right. Like, the powder, I couldn't figure out how to make it, but I eventually got it. Um, I just found a picture and edited it a bunch, but it worked out, and he turned out real nice. I say that about all of them, but this whole series turned out real nice. But I still got more to go, so hang tight. So next here is the Baroness with her black and white dress, and then her little, like, eyepiece mask that goes over her face. That would be... A new part, as long as her neck piece, that kind of, like, it would go on her neck if it were a real Lego piece. Um, then her dress is half black, half white, and then she uses the same hair piece as um, the other Baroness figure 
in the series. Next we have Artie. Um, he turned out real nice. His scarf piece was a bit hard for me to do, but it turned out real nice. I couldn't think of an accessory for him, so he doesn't have one. And then his outfit, I couldn't quite replicate the design, so I just did something similar to it. And then it's a custom hair piece that I made for him, and I literally traced the hair on the picture so um, that it'd be um, as accurate as it can get. And then um, he, his face is different from the rest because I did like the special um, makeup designs. So he was more of a challenge since he's so unique, but um, I'm happy with how he turned out. Next is Sweet Catherine. Um, I did it based off of this picture. I used a hairpiece that is Cho Chang's in the um, newest Lego Harry Potter advent calendar. Um, so I didn't think I would want to design a new hairpiece for her since this one still looks pretty good. It has a bun in the back. And then I gave her her little handbag that you can see at the very edge of the picture. And I replicated uh, her dress to the best of my ability. So even though she's more of a side character, I wanted to include her because she's still important. Next is John. He didn't really become important until halfway through the film, but he comes with another Dalmatian. I gave him kind of a more angry face because I feel like he doesn't have much expression, so he kind of has an expressionless face, and then bald minifig head since the character is bald, and then a simple tuxedo. And then last but not least, young school Corella with her little school uniform. I use Hermione Granger's hair in half black, half white for her hair piece. Sorry in the image of her, it says the end of trailer. It's because it's the only image I could find. Um, but she has medium length legs. And uh, she was the last one that I made. But I think along the series I got better at designing, especially the hair. Her hair looks really good. And so I'm so happy with how the CMF series turned out. Let's take a look at the list of them. So this is all of them in a list. Um, this took me so long to complete just because it was my first CMF series, but I've definitely gotten better at them. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Um, thank you for over 40 subscribers now. Um, it's been great. My channel has been growing. I hope this CMF series helps it grow more. And this was really fun to design, even though it took a long time. So uh, I might do another CMF series. I was thinking the sound of music. Um, that's all I can think of right now. But um, I'm hoping to come up with more ideas to start another CMF series soon. So thank you for watching. I know those of you uh, who are subscribed have been looking forward to this for a long time. And um, if you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing so that you can see future projects in CMF series. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thanks.